times economies try to reduce absolute poverty from their nations by just focusing on increasing growth however if you just focus on growth and do not take up along with the distribution of income or inequalities the poverty alleviation could have a limited impact so today let's learn about the poverty growth inequality triangle the poverty growth inequality triangle model was created by Francois Bergenian, one of the former chief economists of World Bank. We often hear the term trickle-down economics, the idea that economic growth within an economy is the best way to reduce poverty and benefit those at the bottom. The poverty growth inequality triangle model has been made to create poverty reduction strategies that include both steps to reduce inequality and stimulate growth. It can be drawn as a triangle with arrows pointing out of each other. At the top of the triangle is absolute poverty. This refers to the percent of the population below the income poverty line. At the bottom left of the triangle is inequality or distribution. This refers to differences in income across a population. At the bottom right of the triangle is growth. This refers to the change in income for a population, for example, a change in the gross domestic product. The arrows which are pointing out of absolute poverty, growth and inequality in the triangle represent cause and effect relationship. In the model, inequality and growth affect each other and both of them affect absolute poverty.